Hello, today we are going to look at how to install Krita 4.2 on Linux Mint 19.1. This will work on all supported Ubuntu and Ubuntu based distros like Ubuntu, Linux Mint of course, the Linux Lite, Peppermint OS and Pop OS and many others. So first of all we can open up the terminal. I press Ctrl Alt and T together to do this. But you can also just go to your menu and look for terminal, doesn't matter. And now we're just going to copy these three commands into our terminal. So we're going to copy, paste, press enter, type your password, press enter, wait a bit, it can take some time, press enter to confirm or to continue. And this will just add all the keys and things we need. And now the next command, we will just update our repositories with this new one included that we can install the latest version of Krita. And the cool thing about this PPA, cool thing about PPAs is, and this is the official PPA, is that whenever there's an update, you will automatically get the updates via the system settings, so you will always be up to, up to date, so that's fantastic about that. And so if Creator 4.3 is out and you see this tutorial, you will get 4.3, so you will get the latest available and you will be kept up, up, up to date uh, and it's fantastic and it's official and that's fabulous. So now the last thing we have to do is to install Krita. So just gonna paste this, press enter to confirm, continue, and I'm, it's gonna download about 80 megabytes of RAM data. So my internet is not the fastest, so I'm gonna fast forward this, and when it's done, I will see you. Fantastic, so as you can see we are nearly done with the installation. So now I'm just going to start to close up the text file and getting ready for the... to open up Krita and to see if it's inst installed correctly and yeah, then basically the tutorial is finished. So that's fantastic, as you can see it's quite easy and yeah, we just hope for it all to finish up now. <laughs> And yeah, so it can take a while to install. And this main DB page I've seen in the past can take a few seconds to complete. But when it's completed, it's basically all done and dusted. So there's a few other ways also you can install Krita. You, of course, you can install it from your software center, but you will not get the latest. Or it's not supposed to get the latest day code. Or many different types of app images uh, and this uh, KDE app I'm presumed I'm presumed there's maybe a what's my call it? A flat pack app, a snap app, but the PPA is so not because it keeps you up to date and you don't have to worry anymore about installing it or updating it because it's just there and as you can see it works very well. And you can easily use this on your system and yeah, if you have automatic updates, you can just forget about or just keep your system up to date with the updates and you will always have the latest and greatest of Krita. And as you can see, we got 4.2 installed and it looks and feels great. Yeah, thank you for watching. See you later. Goodbye.